Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Paleo Palooza. Can you say that? Paleo Palooza. And I know the little ones can say Diplodocus, uh, uh, Tyrannus Rex. Um, you can say all of those, and mom and dad can't. Right, that's great. So, you're, we have a great day planned for you with Paleo Palooza, and you'll get to help us solve the missing fossil mystery, make fossil impressions, see how you measure up to dinosaurs and create your own species of carnivore or herbivore through paleo art. But first, I'd like to welcome our extraordinary scientists in residence, Drs. Phil Manning and Victoria Edgerton from College of Charleston. We are so fortunate to have them with us. They are here with us part-time during the year. And then in the summertime, they lead our new fossil dig in Wyoming, which you'll be hearing more about in the months, uh, in the months uh, ahead. Well, thank you, Dr. Patchen. Well, here we have the paleo art for big, bad, and bizarre dinosaurs. And it's through paleo art like this that we can reimagine what these giant beasts look like some 65 million years ago. The remarkable thing about dinosaurs is they have changed through time. When I was... Why do they change? A dinosaur's a dinosaur, a bone's a bone. It's dynamic, it's science. Oh, dino, beautiful dynamic. Thing. Dynamic, yeah. indeed. But when I flicked through my books, when I was about three foot high in age, I would look at dinosaurs, and those dinosaurs look different today. Why? They've become, in some cases, a little bit fluffy. You mean we found something that indicates they might be different? There is new evidence that makes us look at dinosaurs in a whole new light. And that's what's remarkable about studying dinosaurs today. We learn something new every day. And at the Children's Museum, they've got something really special to show you, and I think... Are we ready? Um, Rex, would you like to help us? Well, Rex, before you help, I've got a little present for you, okay? What? I think you'll be needing this. What's that? Just trust me, Rex. Using me. <laughs> no, let's have to see if we can get a, a boa. Yeah, well, Rex wants to feel pretty too, doesn't he? Mm, okay, let's take a look. Count with me. We'll do three, two, one. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Wow. This T Rex does look a little different. So, ah, that's right, Rex. <laughs> Feathers. <laughs> there you go. Well, Dr. Manning. <laughs> Dr. Manning and Dr. Edgerton. How do we know that T-Rex had feathers? Well, there are some T-Rex ancestors that had feathers. We've discovered them in China. And now we think most of the carnivorous dinosaurs, those who ate meat, probably had feathers. And I remember I found my first T-Rex about 10 years ago. And I remember picking the fossil from the ground, looking at it, going, wow, I found my first T-Rex. And you get to name it, give it a nickname. And I wanted a name that was going to install fear in the heart of the very strongest paleontologists. So I chose the name, terrifying name of all, Fluffy. <laughs> I was right to call it Fluffy. The way we look at dinosaurs is changing. And right at the head of that curve is the Children's Museum bringing us this latest reconstruction by Brian Cooley that for me really is at the cutting edge of dinosaur science. And I hope when you're with us today, you get downstairs into the Dinosphere, which is my favorite dinosaur exhibit anywhere on the planet, and I really do mean that. It's an amazing gallery, and I love working here with these wonderful dinosaurs. See how excited it makes you. Dr. Manning and Dr. Edgerton, thank you so much. You'll have an opportunity to help solve a missing fossil mystery in, in the atrium at 11. You'll hear more about fascinating dinosaur research that Drs. Edgerton and Manning are engaged with in the Lilly Theater at 11.30. We also, it's Fire Prevention Week with Corson, and they'll have a special demonstration in the atrium at 10.30 this morning. We also have live 
bat shows today at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. in in Lily Theater. And of course, what time of year is it? Halloween. So Haunted House all day today and tonight as well. So please join me in thanking Dr. Edgerton and Dr. Manning for being with us this morning. Have a great day. Thank you.